Hello everyone, welcome to Dorothy Chia Piano where I talk about all things piano teaching and piano learning. So this week I have a student that tells me I want to learn but I don't want to practice. So what can we do as piano teachers and as parents? Let's look at uh, what we are actually teaching the child. Well, firstly, you're learning to, your child is learning great. That means anything takes many hours of practice to perfection. Whether you're learning to bake a cake, whether you are learning to be a doctor performing a surgery, whether you are a cook cooking up a, a meal of chakwe tiao, whether you are a, a swimmer learning to swim, or even um, a sportsman trying to play a game. Yeah? So all these takes many years of practice and your child need to learn that any skill takes years of perfection and practice. It is not something that you learn in an instant. Okay, so grit, uh, determination and the, the ability to stay on task for many many weeks and years and months and you know the just the the gruel work of it okay secondly you're teaching a child that uh, there must be a purpose in their work all right for example um, show them that when you walk into a shopping center you hear music when you walk into a hotel you hear music in any celebration like we just had our national day we hear music so music is a very integral part of life and imagine a world without music okay so the skill of music is relevant it would be a very quiet world if there's no music and imagine how would your life feel if all you do is study, 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 study and there's no outlet of hobby, there's no outlet for music, there's no outlet for sports and all you do is sit at the desk and study and eat and sleep and study and eat and sleep. Wouldn't your life be horrendous? I think it will be, right? So relevance, making it relevant for the kid. Thirdly, I think Peer support, parental support is very important. Like for me in my studio, we try to organize concerts, studio class, group lessons, all right, playing duets. I know of a friend that has three kids and he writes out, um, he rearranges music for his kids to play as a, a group, all right? And now they have progressed so much that they actually have a violinist, a cellist, and a pianist in that group. And weekly or monthly, they will perform and then the dad will record that performance. And I've seen them grow from month to month and from year to year. And they actually uh, love what they do. Okay, So that, that um, ability to perform for their parents and then before a larger audience will help to make practicing relevant okay so let's round up the points making it uh, making them see that any skill takes years of practice to perfect making them see the relevance of what they're doing in our daily life and thirdly peer and parental support makes all the hard work so much more meaningful so I hope all this helps in you getting your child to practice and helping them to uh, ingrain this habit of practice into their daily life. Once it becomes a practice habit, yeah, then there is less friction, there's less fighting going on. And uh, of course, I think a lot of it is the personality of the child. Some children are naturally hardworking and some are naturally lazy. So I think it is the second group that uh, has more trouble. But piano is not the only hobby. Uh, there are lots of skills that the child can pick up. I think as parents, um, observe your child. What are they naturally drawn to? Is it language? Is it art? Is it dancing? Is it sports? Find an activity that they have a 
passion for, and then there will be le less resistance to get the work done. So that's it for this week. Do like and share, subscribe for more videos coming out next week. Bye-bye.